We've got a number of vanguards in our area. We've got two fantastic care home vanguards, one in Airedale and one in Wakefield. As part of the Airedale vanguard, uh, one of the key things that we've been working on is introducing telemedicine into care homes across the patch and that's been fantastic and is really going to be a platform on which we can develop so many other innovations and services that will make life better for people in care homes and the staff as well. What we're doing with the learning from the vanguards uh, is spreading it across the whole of the sustainability and transformation plan. We know that if we support people differently in care homes we'll end up with better care for them, better outcomes for them and less pressure in the system because the evaluation we've done shows that that's the case. We've got a vanguard down in Sutton um, and it's a care home, um, new model of care. They've started a couple of initiatives down there. One's kind of become affectionately known as the red bag scheme um, and it's, it's a relatively simple and straightforward scheme in which someone provides the, uh, the, the care home residents with a little red bag that's got of information that's really really helpful uh, when the patient goes into hospital because it helps that patient spend as little time as possible in hospital and again back again um, nice and quickly. We took seven NHS organisations really struggling to provide radiology services and we thought that maybe by running a joint procurement for those seven organisations we could save a bit of cash. Once we started doing that we realised that there was real potential to make some big changes to clinical services potentially helping patients who are in our very large geographical region get better care by getting their scans done closer to home and perhaps their reports and the senior clinical input from anywhere else in the consortium. Having Vanguard is an essential part of our STP and we've learned a lot of lessons uh, as we've been going along. Uh, one of the key ones is that just because you've proven something works doesn't mean that everybody will want to do it. The one key thing that I think has been so valuable for us being part of a vanguard is learning from what the other vanguards are doing, um, seeing where things have worked. So for example, we've implemented the red bag scheme across East Lancashire, which has been fantastic. We've seen some real benefits from that and that's all through learning from other vanguard sites. There's something about collaborative leadership to accept that if something works somewhere and it looks really good and the evidence is good, really it's our duty to say, why don't we do it everywhere? And I think that's something that as a leader in the STP I really want to push. Well, there are actually some other um, trusts around London that are actively rolling out the red bag scheme. So it's been started in, in, in Sutton as part of the new model of care and it's already being adopted and actively rolled out by, 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 by other partners within the system. There's nothing about vanguards that's a magic bullet. There's a bit of cash that helps, there's a bit of organisational support, that helps, but there's also the permission to fail, the permission to fail to try and do something different. And that gives us an umbrella, a bit of a cover over the top if you will. It helps our chief executives take more risk and that in turn allows us at a clinical level to try things that we wouldn't usually be able to try.